Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur are days of judgment. We read in our prayers that we pass before God like sheep before a shepherd. Our very lives hang in the balance. Who will live? What will our health, our livelihood, our family lives be like in the coming year? King David says that God's judgment is an occasion for joy. The fields and everything within it will jubilate. All the trees will sing that before the Lord, for he has come to judge the earth on Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur. So joy is spreading throughout the world because God is judging the earth. You would think there would be fear, trembling. No, joy is the core emotion that King David describes. The Rebbe says we have to look a little bit deeper to see what it is about God's judgment that is the occasion for joy. The Zohar, the classic work of Jewish mystical thought, gives us a beautiful understanding of the divine judgment. It says in Proverbs that God is constantly creating the heavens. The Zohar says this means God is constantly perfecting the heavens. Why is he perfecting the heavens? God made them. The heavens should be perfect. The heavens are perfect. What is God doing beautifying them, perfecting them? The Zohar says, you look at the book of Job, it says, and the heavens are not pure in his eyes. What does that mean they're not pure in his eyes? The Zohar said, there's no criticism here. Rather, because the heavens are beloved to God and because they are so precious to him, every day he looks at them and he says, here's another way they can be beautified. Here's another way they can be perfected. So it is not a criticism, but rather an expression of love. The Rebbe says, like a person who has a beautiful home, the more they love the home and the more they enjoy the home, they will find ways to make it even more beautiful. They will spend time perfecting it, finding areas to express their love and their caring and their joy in this home. In a similar fashion, God looks at us with his infinite love and he sees our infinite potential and how precious we are in his eyes. So his judgment is one of judging us looking at us to see how we can improve, how we can become better, how we can beautify ourselves. As the word shofar means to beautify and to perfect, God's desire and his judgment is for us to beautify ourselves, for God to beautify us. So this is not criticism or judgment, it's love and faith in our potential and his engagement in us perfecting ourselves. This is why we rejoice in judgment.